Uh, I really didn't like the Bengals, but my family is a whole Bengals fan. Everybody's a Bengals fan besides me. I'm a Cowboys fan, so uh, I switched up a little bit. What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real football fans stand up. Yo, what if I told you there is a linebacker who is number one in quarterback pressures, defensive stops, tackle for losses, He's the highest graded linebacker in this year's class on PFF. He was the senior bowl defensive MVP and he is not being talked about enough. Y'all probably say Tuck. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. But that is why y'all are subscribed to this channel. So you guys can definitely understand about these prospects. And this prospect is Ivan Pace Jr. linebacker out of the University of Cincinnati. Y'all, I love this prospect. If you watched the draft show last night, my eyes lit up when it was my time to speak about this kid. Very fluid. I love everything about this player. Extremely high motor. He finds the football. And as a linebacker, they used to always tell us, finding the football, getting to the football is how you get paid. My coaches would say, Tuck, that's your money back. That's your ticket the way out of here. Getting to the football, and this kid definitely has a nose to the football. He is always around the football. Great hands, has a lot of tools in his toolbox. So, so even though he's a linebacker, quote unquote, he has great hands, great bend. He can do a lot of different things. He's agile. He loves his spin move. He is pretty much NFL ready when it comes to his pass rush. Has a lot of speed to power and can slip off blocks. He's very hard to get his hands on. So, Tuck, you're telling us all these great things about this prospect. Then what's wrong with him, bro? Well, at the NFL level, you know they focus on measurables. Size, 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 size. He is only 5'10", 231 pounds. So, he is on the smaller spectrum of things when it comes to linebacker position and also edge rushers. But you have to understand, like, Nicobe Dean was a smaller linebacker. Nick Bolton was a smaller like linebacker. Ray Lewis, who was who was Ivan Paces Jr.'s idol, he was only six foot. So there are shorter linebackers that have done well in the NFL. But just for the knock on him, it's really coming down to size. If he was 6'1", 6'2", he's a top 10 prospect easily. And one thing, he tends to get upfield a little bit in his run lanes. But he had 84 tackles last year, 11 sacks, quarterback hits, pressures, you name it. This kid is there. So let's go ahead and get into the film. Now, to be honest with you, like when I was watching film, I wasn't watching Ivan Pace. I was actually watching Josh Wiley, the tight end from Cincinnati. I was cutting up his film because a lot of people has been asking me about this. And this is the play that I saw that really grabbed my attention. You might say, Tuck, what? But these are some of the things I look for when I'm scouting prospects. So as you'll see, he's lined up at the linebacker position. He's right there. Off that edge. Right there off the right edge. And then he drops back into zone coverage, right? And the play is not even coming his way. Look at where the ball's going, right? So he's completely out of the play, y'all. This just has nothing to do with him, right? But watch this effort. Run into the ball, run into the ball, run into the ball, running all the way across field on a play that absolutely had nothing to do with them. And I, that just stood out to me. I was like, who was this prospect? So I started diving deeper into the film and I said, oh yeah, I think I'm in love. And honestly, last Saturday, I spent about five hours watching this film. I grabbed me some Ciroc. I had a good old time watching Ivan Pace Jr. out of Cincinnati. So let's go ahead and get into this play. And this is gonna show how slippery he is getting off of blocks. Even though he's smaller, he is not gonna go heads up with these bigger guards. And he said that in his combine interviews, like I know I'm smaller size, I'm not going heads up, but I'm using my God-given abilities to get around a lot of these blockers. And you'll see him slip this guard right here and make a play on the tackle. Slippery, not, you're not gonna touch me. So he's gonna keep his hands off of him, right? But also watch his stance. Stance is comfortable. He's leaning a little bit because he's always coming downhill, but he's gonna slip this blocker right there slipped it hands you saw the hands you saw the quick swipe in his hands staying clean going to make a play going to make a play he is always around the ball and he's going to do the same exact thing on this play here slip the blocker look look how look how goofy he made that guard look 
You know what I'm saying? He he got that he got that he got that guard face down. He got him face down. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? As he's making a play on the on the tackle right here. And this is why I loved that nastiness. He's a pit bull. He's a vicious pit bull as he finishes on the play, and we'll see it from this end zone angle. Slips him. Look at that extra finish. Little swagger he has his leg. Get down, bro. I love that toughness. I love that tenacity when it comes to Ivan Pace. Watch it again. Slipped him. Slipped him. On this next play right here, he's going to drop back into the hook zone. And just watch how quickly he comes downhill to make a play on this tackler. To make a play on this ball, I mean. Boom. Coming downhill. Coming downhill. Coming downhill. He's always around the ball. Now, granted, he's not going to be a safety, but he reminds me of a player who I love, who was a Pittsburgh Steeler, and that's Troy Polamalu. Like, Troy Polamalu was just a player. Every time you watch Troy play, you saw his number in the picture. And I get that same feel when I watch Ivan Pace. I'm not saying he's the next Troy Polamalu by any means, right? It's a Hall of Famer. But he's always just around the ball. He's always going to be in the picture. And that's something I definitely love about this prospect, especially from a linebacker position. Now, here's the one slight knock on him. Like I said, he comes downhill and he comes downhill hard. Sometimes he gets up the field a little too high, especially on run defense. And he didn't leave the proper lanes and his proper fits. And he left a wide open lane right there. So that's the one thing he can work on. But like I said, he's not a perfect prospect by any means, right? But sometimes he tends to get upfield a little bit because he's looking to get upfield. He kind of got washed away in some of the mess right there. On this play here, great patience on his read. He trusts his eyes. Like, he trusts his eyes, right? He has the read option. He stays patient. He stays grounded, right? Reads. He's trusting his reads. Boom. And then he's coming downhill with the pressure. Soon he, soon as he picks up on it, right? Boom. Don't go until you know. And that's something my coach used to always teach me. It's like, listen, there's a lot going on in his backfield. They are trying to trick you, right? They want to get your eyes tricked, right? They want to trick your eyes, right? You don't go until you know who has the ball. Once he knows who has the ball, then it's all go mode. And he's forcing the quarterback to go ahead and get rid of it. Great patience right there. I'll watch it from the end zone here. Watch the patience. Watch the patience on the read. Not moving yet. Now I'm coming downhill. I know who has the ball. I'm coming downhill. On this next play, he's showing the double team off the edge. Like I said, even though he's a smaller linebacker, he's not afraid to scra scrap a little bit and look at him taking on the combo block and still making him play on the ball. So he's going to scrap. He's not going to give up. He's not going to back down by any means because he's a smaller linebacker. He is feisty, and he's not afraid to go in the trenches. Now, that's not going to be really the the best, most optimal way to go about things, especially at the NFL level in most cases. But if he has to roll up his sleeves and get dirty, he definitely will. And here he is shooting the gaps, making a play in the backfield. Quick, man. He's quick. He's quick, 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 quick. Shooting the gap, secure tackler. He has a wrestling background, loves to wrap up, loves to get dirty in the backfield, making plays, Superman, Cam Newton flex. On this play here, he's going to scrape down the line of scrimmage and just make a solid play on the ball once again. Like, he is everywhere. Like, he is, like I said, y'all, he is always in the pitcher. And that extra, mm, that extra hit right there. Didn't really have to do it, right? But he wants he wants to finish his food. He's getting into play and he's making things happen. He is staying on the tack. I love his edge. I love the edge in this prospect. Like, man, I, I tell y'all, my, my eyes lit up. The same way I felt when I watched Josh Downs was the same way I felt when I watched Ivan Pace Jr. Toughness, toughness, toughness. This is the, this is the keep tuck up all night type of film right here. All right, on this play right here, it's to come off the edge. And once again, watch how he makes this pulling guard miss. So like I said, he's really hard because like these bigger 6'7", 6'6", offensive guards, offensive tackles, you got to get low. And a lot of these guys, they got all these knee uh, braces on for a reason. They don't like to get low. So he's coming off quick. It really makes it difficult for a lot of them to locate him and get their hands on him, especially in pulling situations because he's shooting like a damn cannon and he's so low. But he makes a play in the back foot right there. 
And here, a lot of people want to see his sideline to sideline speed. He has it. He has it. Once again, patience. Turns his hips. He's moving, moving, moving. Makes a play. Great turn and run. Great turn and run. Great turn and run. Boom. Turn and run, turn and run, turn and run. Makes a play. Here's where the money's at, right? So I said he had 11 sacks. Boom. Oh, no, this is not a sack right here. Not the sack play. But he's coming down the A gap, or the B gap, and making a play in the backfield. It's a good job, good feel. Always finding the ball. Here it is. Here it is. Here's, here's where the money resides, where the money resides. Slips that tight end, makes a play on the quarterback, finishes food, flexing. He's the man out here. Like, there's been numerous games where he's had 16 tackles, 17 tackles, and a lot of them, as you see, are solo tackles. You know what I'm saying? So he is by far the most dominant linebacker in this year's class, and it sounds crazy because he probably never heard of this kid. He's probably going to be a fifth-round prospect just based off the measurables, which is unfortunate because if he was 6'1", like I said, boom, coming on the B-gap, even though he didn't make a play on the, the quarterback, he made the quarterback move. That's where a lot of that pressure is coming from, just getting pressure, high motor, being around the ball. Boom. That guard didn't even touch him. That guard, that guard not, that guard's not trying to get that low. I'm not, he's not trying to get that low. That guard is getting smoked right now because he's not going to get that low. He's not going to bend his leverage. Didn't even touch Ivan. And he almost had the safety. It's a simple little dip of the shoulders, getting around the guard. And then the last play here, once again, effort, pursuit angles, everything is there, flying to the ball making things happen, man. I definitely love this prospect. Ivan Pace Jr., linebacker of the University of Cincinnati. I believe he's going to probably be there day three, right? He's going to be a day three guy, fourth round, fifth round. I feel like eventually he's going to start off maybe as a special teams guy. He's going to have to kind of earn some trust, but I think eventually NFL teams will like him, and this is a prospect you definitely got to keep your eye on. He's going to be in addition to any NFL team, but I hope selfishly it's my Dallas Cowboys. It's boy Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. If you love draft content, you're in the right spot. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And Ivan Pace Jr., you are officially on the JTuck pet cat list. Peace.